Reading from Srivan Bhagavatam, Tantra Tan, chapter number 13, verse number 20. So we've been reading Krishna's Brahma Mohan Lila. So what this word in the previous sloka is Babo. So this is actually not coming from Bhudhatu. It comes from Bhadhatu. This is the Adadigan Bhad Dipto to shine. And this is the Adhoksha Nitlaka. So Bhabha and Bhavan Paramandala how? So now becomes how? Now becomes Babhav. So Babhav means he is shown. So in Hindi also we use this word Aye Viraji. Right? You must have one. Means come shine. 
means be here, sit. So it's used in the sense of becoming or being. So that's why Bhagu is there, say Bhagu. So, like we have the word Papal. I can say through you. Nandaki Makarod Brahman Sreyava Mahodev Yashodacha Mahabhaga Papo Yasasthana Bhari so Padhatu becomes Papo, so Bha becomes Babhu. Okay. So we read uh, how Krishna, he expanded into everything. So this is how he is existing. And that's why he says that, Mam tu Vedana Kaschana. That I know everything, but nobody knows me. And Balram did not know. So only he knows what he is doing, what he wants to do, what he will do, why he will do. Only he knows. And sometimes some other people may also figure out by his grace. So very interesting. Sometimes maybe he also does not know. <laughs> so now Sukhdeva Goswami continues to explain that what happened after that. Swaswayam Atma Atma Govatsan Pratiwari Atma Vatsapaihi Kridam Atma Viharesha Sarvatma Pravishad Brahim. So he was worried. Uh, when the calves and the cowherd boys were not available, that what will happen when he goes home? Then what will the parents think? What the cows will think? What happened? What he is going to tell them? So therefore he found a nice solution. So then he played with them. So now he was playing with himself. Swayam, Atma, Atma Govatsan. So he is Sarvatma. So this is now, now you understand why he is called Sarvatma. He is the Atma of everybody. Or he is everything. So Swayam Atma Atma Govatsan. So himself means he is the agent, he is the object. He is everything. He is the place. He is the karta. He is the karak. He is the karan. Right? The stick is also he. The place is also he. The object with him is playing is also he. And he is playing for them. So everything is he only. So atma vatsapai. So along with his friends who are also he. And the cow, cow, calves, they are also him. So, Atma, Atma, Govatsan, and Govatsapai. So, he played with them as if nothing had happened. And then, so, Kridan, Atma, Viharishya, then playing with them, he got, gathered all the calves and went home with everybody. And if nothing had happened. So Praveshan Vrajam, he entered into the Vrajam. So Tatascha Madhyanya Parhanya Purva Deva Kirdit Vatastasya Sayam Goshta Pravesha Maha Swamiti Panchami. So now in the next five slokas, Sri Sukhdeva Goswami describes his entry into the Goshta, which is Coward village after he has performed his play as before his noon time afternoon time and in the evening he goes home evam sarvatma san brajam pravishat so he is called sarvatma but now he is actually sarvatma because he is the atma in everybody atma means also body mind everything 
says everything everybody's atma everybody's mind everybody's body and then in this way he entered in vaj katham swayam atma eva prayojaka atma roopan govatsan karma api swamo swameva atma roopai vatsapai prativarya iti prayojya karta api swayam eva so he is the prayojak karta and he is the prayojya karta right so karta prayudha prapta three types of karta karta swatantra iti hetu karta prayojya prayojya bhin karta so he is the prayojak karta means he is the one who is engaging everybody and he is also the prayojya means who is being engaged by him because everybody is here and the calves who is gathering the karma of his action that is also him. so that's why it is described that swam atma eva prayojaka he is the prayojaka he is the one who is engaging everybody or ordering everybody or instigating everyone atma roopan govat sanati karma pi and the govat sa calves which are the object of his taking them to the village and they karma api swameva and he is gathering them through himself atma rupai vatsapai prati variyati prajya karta api swameva atma vihare atma bhir atma bhutair balkai sah ye vihara venu vadana de stai krana and he is playing with himself the boys who are his own expansions is playing flute whatever games they are playing so kriya karakani api swameva tyad so the kriya and the karaka because in a sentence we have a verb and then you have the karakas so things which are related to the verb which execute the verb the outcome of the verb महाराज ही इज प्रयोज्य करता एंड प्रयोजक करता दिस इज अंडरस्टूड बिकॉज एज सर्वात्मा ही इज द प्रयोज प्रयोजक एंड एज द वत्सपाज ही इज द प्रयोजक प्रयोज्य बट हाउ इज ही द कर्मा दिस इज नॉटिंग द कर्मा of this work karma is t- tending the cows so what is the karma of the charyati cows then he is the cow or not he also became the cows and how is he the kriya when he says kriya karik then he is doing the kriya he charyati so oh, he is object in the form of cows cowherd boys and one who is inspiring so who is them. doing the action mm-hmm. if he is playing then who is doing the kriya karak one of the i mean these so kartas then, are doing the kriya so then kriya is somewhere else or it is in them okay is it separate from where does kriya happen okay in the karta it happening in the karta or in or the karma, karma. okay both is he okay. therefore kriya and karak both is he okay. all the grammar you can understand he is one kriya karan karta ne karm ko karan mein studied it in hindi ha hmm? ji sampradan ke liye upadan se still on the line everything is in <coughs> so atra puline vatsapala upavishya bhunjante eva shadvaleshu vatsastrinam charanti eva tan anveshtum krishna vipne paryatati eva 
क्षणमत्राय मण वयम व्याप्यतिदृष्ट तत्स्थलु प्रतिदिन भ्रमद्भिन्न लीला परीकृष्णस्वूपत्स बालैर्बलदेव वर्षवात आतपाद्यर स्पृष्ट अस्पृष्ट चिंतशक्त योग मया विराजीत यहाँ कवलवेत्रादिलक्ष्मी तो मोहन ते ददृशे तुष्टुवचे सो नाउ व्हाट इज सेइंग इज दैट द ही द काफ्स देयर वत्सपाला पुलिने उपविश्य भंजन्ते एव द काउहर्ड बॉयज दे आर सिटिंग एट द बैंक ऑफ द रिवर एंड ईटिंग फॉर वन ईयर दे विल कंटिन्यू टू ईट देयर because what brahma stole was not the real ones so the real ones will stay in the same position and the calves they are grazing so they will continue to graze sadvaleshu vatsastranam charanti eva and krishna is searching for them for one one year tan anveshtum krishna vipne paryatati eva he is wandering in the forest looking for the calves क्षण मात्रा मण वयम व्याप्येतृक अदृष्ट सो फॉर ब्रह्म इट वॉज वन मोमेंट ऑफ टाइम फॉर दैम इट वॉज वन इयर सो दीज थ्री थिंग्स वर नॉट सीन बाय एनी बडी नो बडी सॉ दिस ब्रह्म after one moment but varsam vyapyati which became one varsa so sarvai adrishtam so he was these these were not seen by anybody nobody saw krishna is searching nobody saw the calves are grazing and nobody saw the cow covered boys are eating tat tat sthaleshu pratidinam bhramad bhi ranne leela parikarai so there were also other people of brajbasi they also must have come to the river and going to the forest but nobody noticed them so they remain invisible to everybody krishna swarupa vats balai baldeve ne api and even baldev also was not able to see this and also these other swarupas which were form of krishna they also did not see so varsha vat atapadyair api asprishtam so in the one year there were rain heat cold all the seasons came so they were not touched by that अचिंत शक्तिया योग माया विराजी देव सो दिस वैपन्ड ऑल्सो बाय द अचिंत शक्ति ऑफ योग माया यस्से एक एव कृष्णो ब्रह्मणा कवल वेत्रादि लक्ष्म लक्षितो मोहांत ददृशे व्हाई बिकॉज इट विल बी डिस्क्राइब्ड दैट वन ब्रह्म केम ही सॉ कृष्ण अलोन एंड ही वाज सर्चिंग Of course, then he also saw, but he saw that. So Brahma saw that, and then he also praised him, which will come in the fourteenth chapter. So this was all magic. Tattad vatsan prithang nitva, tattad goshte niveshya sa, tattad atma abhavad rajan, tattad sadma pravishtavan. How many times Tata is coming in the sloka? Six times. 
So, eight. eight. Okay, eight time. Eight or six. Six. Eight. Eight times. Okay. Tat tat vatsan tat tat ghoshte tat tat atma bhavat tat tat sadma. So therefore, tat tat means that corresponding calves and cowherd boys. So tat tat vatsan prithang nitva. So the cowherd boys they carried their corresponding calves separately, separately to their houses. Tat tat ghoshte nivesya sa. But here he is talking about as if Krishna is. So Krishna, he and made them enter to their goshta, their goshala, cow shed, the corresponding, whichever belong to that. And Tattad Atma Abhavad Rajan. And then he was also himself in, in the form of those cowherd boys. And Tattad Sadma Pravishtavan, and he entered to their houses. So it is one Krishna who entered in all the houses and it is one Krishna who tended all the calves and it is one Krishna who were all the calves. So like in Dwarka it is described that Krishna had 16,108 queens so he will be with all of them and then every day he will go to the assembly house so he will come out and then he will become one and go and when he, he will come back in the evening and go to house, then he will become man. But there at least he, he looked Krishna, Krishna himself. Here he is looking different, different forms, including all the sticks and everything. So this is more wonderful than Dwarka. So Tattadatma Sridhama Sudama, Subaladi, Balaka Swarupa. So Tattadatma means that he had the forms of his friends, Sridama, Sudama, Subala, and also. So Krishna is Tattad Sadma, Pravishtavan, it can be. But here Pravishtavan is in singular, and it should have been Pravishtavanta, that they all entered, but it is because it is only one Krishna who is entering. So, grammar is confused now. So there are many, <laughs> many people entering, <laughs> but it is singular. <laughs> right? How is this will happen? So, Sa Pravishtavan, he entered, but he is many. And the mothers and parents and Whoever family members, they all thought that it, they are their children or nephews, whatever. So, Tanmataro, Venu, Ravatvaro, Thita, Uthapya, Dorbhi, Parirabhya, Nirbharam, Sneha, Sunas, Snuta, Stan, Stan, Paya, Sudhasavam, Matva, Param, Brahma, Sutana, Payan. So, I'm describing about the mothers. So, now you understand the position of mother is more important than the father because who is drinking, giving the milk? The mothers. So, Tanmataro Venu Ravatvaro Thita. So, the mothers, they stood up when they heard the sound of the flute and Uthapya Dorbhi Pari Rabhya Nirvaram. And they lifted the boys with their arms and gave them a tight embrace, right, strong hug. And then sneha snuta stan paya sudhasavam matva param brahma sutana pai. And their breasts were full of milk out of love. And Krishna, they fed Krishna, who is Param Brahma, who is the Absolute Reality. Aho Bhagyam, Aho Bhagyam, Nanda Bhavakarajasaka, Yad Brahma, Parmananda, Purna Brahma, Sanatanam. So it is Purna Brahma, so that is Param Brahma, 
supreme brahman they thought him to be their son so sutan matva apayan and made him drink milk from their own breast so earlier it was said yashoda cha mahabhaga yasya papau yasta stanam hari that what is the great fortune of yashoda what did she do that krishna drank her breast milk now all these gopis are also feeding krishna the breast milk now breast milk does not come like that and the child drinks breast milk till next morning is one year old these boys were five year old right paganda this happened when krishna was in paganda five year old so five year old boys are drinking breast milk they were not feeding breast milk to the real sudaman sri daman madhumangala to them they were not giving breast milk but now when krishna became their son so they are feeding breast milk to him because it's naturally coming so this is to show this is the commentary of the upanishad statement that atma kama eva sarvam priyo bhavati nama are patyu kama e patyu priyo bhavati so this is the ultimate explanation of that statement because atma kama atma here is krishna so everybody is there only because of krishna's presence otherwise not and now krishna himself is present so you can imagine so therefore this shows that the love for krishna is more than their own children parents have natural affection for their own children but when krishna became their own child then the affection was more than before so that's why krishna is called atma of the atma because atma vai jayate putra that son is born as one son atma but krishna is not atma is the atma of atma so therefore he is more dear so that's why sukhdev will say that krishna menam avehitam akhilatmana atmanam so krishna menam avehitam atmanam akhilatmanam jagadhita sopyatra dehira bhati maya so this krishna is the atma of atma and therefore he is the supreme object of love and therefore one one has pr- krishna prema then tavad raga deyaste na tavad kara grihan gre tavad mohan gre nigada yavat krishna na tejana so raga and dvesha and all these that house is a prison and the attachment they travel only as long as one does not become devotee because once you become devotee of krishna then something higher is there that's why bhakti creates natural vairagya janeti ashu vairagyam gyanam cha bhaktukam because vairagya means detachment so we are naturally attached to body and bodily things and relations and possessions so this attachment is there but now when you get a supreme object of attachment then this attachment drops away naturally no effort is needed for that so therefore rup goswami says that vairagya what is the what is vairagya swayam aruchi visheshu when there is natural distaste in the vishaya not that you have to practice it so this is how bhakti is most powerful so this is the proof which is being given sneha smuta stana paya sudhasana so this was not milk he did not say just milk but it was asava that sudhasava intoxicating nectar 
in the form of milk paya and sudha and asam because this is pure love which is manifest as milk this is not just some combination of some whatever proteins coming out from the breast this is pure prema and this is what krishna is hungry for so he drank it happily nirvrita means nikla hua bahar flowing nirbha nirvrita nirvrita mere nirvrita dor bhir parirabhya nirvrita nirbharam we have never hmm nirvrtam nirvaram means anyway. nirvaram means tight nirvrtam means happy okay so it is an alternate in shridhar swami there is nirvaram yeah. so if it is nirvar means what you say tight strong deep intense this and is uh, for the embrace and if it is nirvrtam means happy happily embrace okay so hanta hanta yashodaya eva asmakam api krishna kim putro bhavet iti gopinam manorathasya siddhim bahir alakshitam vadane eva tasam mohanama so the gopis they have wished that will we ever get the fortune that like a shoda krishna would be our son putra bhavet so now that wish of gopis was fulfilled by krishna so although bahir alakshitam vadan eva tasam mohanama so externally they were not told or anything that this is krishna so that is another thing that krishna is attractive not only when he is manifest as krishna even when he is not manifest as krishna still he is attractive he is more attractive than their children hmm. so this is called vastu shakti so it is not dependent on knowledge if you have fire and you cover it with something still it is fire only if you touch it it will burn if you know it is fire it will burn if you don't know and it is not in the shape of fire or not explicitly visible as fire still it will burn you so therefore krishna this is the nature of krishna that although he was not manifest to them as krishna externally still their love was swelling like anything and they did not know why it is happening like that they only thought he is our son he is my son so they are not thinking this is krishna so tanmatra tat tanmatra so tanmatra here mean we should have said twice tat tat matra the mother of each one of them so one tat has to be taken as two tats so ai bhavani yes. isn't this is a only a bhoman lila that this is happening because the person who was killed was in bhoman lila right yeah it is we are only talking about bhoman lila why you are bringing the al bring this because the law which is manifested this law is only in bhoman lila that Yeah, yeah, this killing of Asura is here. Not there in Goloka. This expression of love is stated here that led to the Rasul Lila. So that's the reason. Yes. What, what, so, what is the meaning of Vadan Eva? 
alakshitam vadaneva means without telling them manorathasya siddhim bahir alakshitam vadaneva alakshitam tak to samajh mein aa gaya uske baad vadaneva he is describing without actually saying that it is krishna tasam mohana maha sukhdev goswami is vadan नहीं वो तो फिर तासाम मोहनम आहा मतलब सुखदेव गोस्वामी कह रहे हैं उनके मोहन के बारे में सो हु इज स्पीकिंग वाइल स्पीकिंग अलक्षिताम वदन एव हु इज स्पीकिंग सुखदेव गोस्वामी इज ओनली स्पीकिंग तन मात्र तन मात्र सुतान मत्वा परम ब्रह्म एव दौर्भिरुत्थाप्य सो थिंकिंग कृष्णा टू बी देयर सन एंड देन लिफ्टिंग हिम इन देयर आर्म्स सो दे आर लिफ्टिंग परम ब्रह्म इन द आर्म्स सो पीपल वांट टू मर्ज इन ब्रह्मन हियर ब्रह्मन इज मर्जिंग इन टू देम सो परम ब्रह्म एव दौर्भिरुत्थाप्य अंके कृत्वा एंड मेकिंग हिम मेकिंग हिम सिट इन देयर लैप स्तन्यम पयो अपायन दे मेड हिम ड्रिंक देयर ब्रेस्ट मिल्क उदुहिय इति क्वचित पाठस्य सो समवेयर द रीडिंग इज डिफरेंट निर्भर पिरभ्य निर्भर स्मृत पूर्वत स्ने आधिक सूचक सो निर्भर मीन्स टाइटली निर्भर स्मृत पूर्वत स्ने आधिक सो इस दट दिस्मृता स्नेह स्मृत स्तन्यपय सुधास दिस् इंडिकेट्स दैट देयर स्नेह इज मोर देयर लव और अफेक्शन now is more than before param brahma api sudhasavam matva tasam stanyam payo api vatitya so even param brahma means what is the meaning of param brahma param brahma is one who doesn't have any desires who is full in himself who is complete so even he is drinking eagerly so that is the power of prema that is making him hungry for this milk so payo api batitya sudhasam sneha smrutatvena sneham ayam tat prema aswad maharasika krishna sudham eva sadhu asavam eva madakam pivan anu babhu so sneha smrutatvena so this milk how did this milk come out this came out because of love not not because of anything else so because it came out of love this milk is love only it's not milk but love sneha mayam tat prema aswad maharashi and who is krishna krishna is the rasika who likes to taste prema so therefore he is not drinking milk he is drinking prema prema has become milk so this is the his prema lila so what he what he drinks what he eats what he plays this is all prema everything is prema maya so that's why he is maharasika सो सुधाम स्वादु दिस मिल्क इज टेस्टी लाइक सुधा और अम्ब्रोसिया वी डोंट नो हाउ डज इट टेस्ट सो सेंग दैट इट इज टेस्टी लाइक अम्ब्रोसिया इट्स नॉट अ गुड एग्जाम्पल बिकॉज वी डोंट नो हाउ डज इट टेस्ट सो वॉट डज इट टेल मी यू कैन टेल मी एनी थिंग सो यू कैन ओनली जस्ट imagine something external so sudham eva swadu and asavam eva madakam so it is tasty and also intoxicating because 
intoxication also gives some happiness. So not only that it is very relishable, but also it is making him completely lose his sense of what he is. He is so intoxicated. Like when people are completely intoxicated, they forget who they are, what they are. They are just in their own bliss. So that's what is happening. It's beyond description. So he pivan anubhuva. So drinking like this, he experienced the subhasava. That's what he experienced. And it is for this reason that he became their son. He wanted to full their, fulfill their wish is one thing, but he also wanted to taste this milk called prema. So he is drinking milk from the mother Yashoda, but it's not sufficient. He is a Maharasika. He wants different, different taste. Every mother will have some different taste, right? Every mother's milk will be having some different vitamin, mineral. So, tasya api tattat putri bhava vasana prag asit. So therefore it is understood that just as the gopis had the desire to have Krishna as their son, Krishna was also looking at them, when can I drink their milk? <laughs> That's why he was only going and stealing the butter and stealing the yogurt, but he never got the chance to steal the milk from their breast. He was only getting the yogurt, milk from the cows. So at least cows were still giving him the milk indirectly. Now he is getting directly from the cows, but now the milk from the gopis also he is getting. So this was also his desire. So you see, this, this pastime has got so many sides to it. So he says, Brahma Mohana Prasanga Eva Siddha. So this, this wish of Krishna was also fulfilled in this Brahma Mohan Leela. Ateo Swasya Sakhinapi Vars Paryantam Yoga Maya Mohe Masetigya. So Krishna was so eager to drink the gopis' milk. And he was never getting a chance because as long as these coward boys are there, he has no scope. So he said, okay, boys, you sleep here. Keep on eating your yogurt rice for one year. And I will drink the mother from your <laughs> milk from your mothers. So this was the trick he played. He put even his friends into the maya to drink this milk. So he is so, so much hankering for the love of his devotees. So stanyamritam pitam ativate mudaiti brahmana api vakshmanatvat. So Brahma will also make a statement like this in his prayers that Krishna, he happily drank the amrita from the breast of the gopi, yes. What is his putri bhava? So is that Sri Pratya Jukus and then Aputra Putri, is that what the meaning is there? Yeah, because he is not their putra to begin with. Okay, so that's what it is said putri bhava. It is called abhutad bhava. It is hmm. something which is not become that. A Krishnam, Krishnam karoti, a Krishni karoti. It will come. Sri Pratya. So, Aputram Putri Bhavati, Putram Bhavati. He was not the son, he became the son. So, Putri Bhavati. So, Putri here does not mean daughter, means son. Maharaj, why the word Piban has been used twice here? Asavam eva madakam Piban Piban Anubhuva iti. Anyway, my book does not have twice, you have twice, but if it has twice means drinking again and again. Okay. Here it is only once. Okay. 
तथो नृपोन मर्दन मज्जलेपना अलंकार रक्षत लकाशनादि संलालित स्वाचरित प्रहर्षयन सायं गतो यामय मेन माधव सो नाउ इज डिस्क्राइबिंग दैट माधव यामय मेन सायं गतो सो इन द इवनिंग he goes to their home because in the daytime he is in the forest standing the cows so yama yamena means at the end of yama or the time in the daytime where he is performing these act- activities so whatever activities he was doing in the daytime completing then the evening he will come home and then he will behave just like those cowherd boys and <coughs> give pleasure to them so swa acharitai praharshayan by his behavior he gave them much pleasure and he was also sanlalita he was also Uh, treated very affectionately by them how they were treating so unmardana majja lepana alankara raksha tilaka asanadi bhi so they will you know like olden days the mothers will give massage to their children it was custom in india when babies are small every day the mother gives massage all massage so they are giving them massage and then bath then they are applying whatever sandalwood paste beauty objects and alankar ornaments decorating them and raksha chanting some mantras to for protection and tilak tilak was compulsory in the olden days everybody used to put tilak now you hardly see anyone except those who are spiritually oriented but in olden days everybody had tilak in hindu in hindu it was compulsory tilak and shikha in our childhood we also had shikha everybody had shikha in the village but then as you are growing up and all this influence you go to school then everybody is making fun <laughs> and pulling your shikha and cut the shikha <laughs> what is that yeah if you are if you don't have a shikha then you are a muslim hmm. everybody else so so this is this is how the mothers were treating their children very affectionately and he was also behaving like a wonderful child so swacharitai praharshan and giving them happiness so this is how they relished each other's love exchange the mothers relished He also mm, here is a sambodhan. Yeah. Yamena upramena yamu upramena yamu tasmin So 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 means means the 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 daytime basically it refers to to upram yama coming to an end tasmin sati. Madhava krishna stat swarupa bhuta balak ganascha gataha swaswa grihmiti shesha so krishna and also the friends who were krishna also then they came in the evening to their own houses every day tatascha unmardan sugandha taila bhyanjanam tadanantaram majjah snapnam matribhi sayam sanlalita and then the mother will take them and massage them with oil fragrant oil natural fragrance not chemicals 
<laughs> These days you don't know. And then majja means giving them bath. So there was no shower or anything like this. So pour water from the bucket or put the water pot or take them to a nearby pond and dip them there. So Matri Vesayam Sanlalita. So in this way they were taken care of by their mothers. Means he was taken care of Krishna. So this all uh, Upmardan, Manjan, Majjan, Adi, this is referring to at the end of the day when they are coming back, not the morning. Gavastato Goshtam Upet Satvaram Hunkara Ghoshai Parihuta Sangatan Svakan Svakan Vatsataran Apayan Muhulihantya Shavadodha Sarpaya and then similarly the cows, because now cows are also, so calves are going separately, cows are going separately, but now the cows are very eager to come home. And they are mooing, gavas tato goshtam, they are coming to the goshala very quickly, running. Sattvara mupetya hunkara gose, and they are making sound, hunkara. So mooing means calling for their baby and parihuta sangatan and then the calves are running to them and they are meeting together and swakan swakan vatsataran apaye and then each cow is making their own calf drink milk so muhur lihantya shravada odhasa paya and they are licking the calf and the milk is flowing out from their udder which the calves are drinking so in this way, Krishna is also enjoying the milk of the cows directly without heating or anything fresh. So this is considered as the best milk according to Ayurveda. This is called Dharoshna milk. It's the best milk for the brain. That's why Krishna was so smart. Because <laughs> he became calf. Then he could speak Bhagavad Gita. Right? He got all the brain by drinking cow milk. Otherwise, uh, how he spoke Bhagavad Gita so nicely. What is the meaning of Odhasam? Adar. Gopinam eva tato gavamapi mohamaha gavaiti. So, just like the gopis were in moha, means they were in delusion, not knowing that these boys are Krishna. Then the calves, the cows were also in the moha, thinking that this is our calf. So parihuta adau ahuta tata sangata satan. So parihuta means they were called by the cows. So they came and they met. Atrapi sattvaramiti muhur lihinte iti so here also it is described that these cows now have more affection for the calves than they had for their own calves. So therefore this principle that you know Krishna is object of love is not only for human beings but even for cows. Even the cows had naturally more prema for these calves now, which was Krishna, than their own calves. And this is described that Sattvaram means very eagerly they came running. And Muhu Lihante, they were licking again and again. And their milk was flowing. So this milk is also the love which is coming the order. So Krishna is drinking so much prema as boys and as calves. He must be really happy. So the next sloka is going to describe this point how the love was now more in their own 
in the, these children and these calves. That is the sloka which describes. Go gopina matrita smina seed snehar dikavina puravada suvapi hares tokta maya vina. It's a very simple sloka but very difficult to understand. So he says, Go gopinam matrita asminasit snehardhika vina. So the cows as well as the gopis, they had matrita means motherhood in Krishna, Asmin. And they had more love now. So Snehardhika means there is a more and this more de- describes that this was not the way they had their mother's affection in their own children. And Puravad Asu Api Hares Tokta. And Krishna, he also behaved like the child as earlier, but Maya Vina. So Maya Vina means that earlier also he treated them like mother. But that was not actually seeing them as mother, but mother-like. But now his tokta means his childhood or his sonhood was without that thinking that they are like my mother, means they are actually my mother. That is the significance of Maya. So, Kincha Gavam Gopinam Asmin Sri Yashodanandane Krishna Matrita Sarva Uplalana Dimaya Sarvaeva Matri Bhavetya. So, Go Gopinam Matrita Asmin Asit. So, what he is saying is that these cows and gopis, they also thought of Krishna as their child before. Because the gopis also, previously also, they thought like a child, like like a son. Because in village when people live, then they have relationship like that. Everybody in the family and the village, wherever you go, you actually have a relationship. You'll say, this is my uncle, this is my grand, just like a family. So therefore Krishna already treated them like mother. But snehardhikam vina. But the sneha, the affection of these mothers at that time was not like the one it is now. At that time also they had the matri bhav and Krishna had also corresponding bhav that they are like mother. But at that time the affection was not the way it is now. So therefore it is, says snehardhikam vina. That their matri bhav was there before also. Both the cows also thought of Krishna as their child. Because he was also playing them with little, like little children and gopis also. So matrita asmin asit. So matrita was there before also, but snehardikam vina. But did not have this type of sneha at that time. Means now the affection is more than before. And Krishna puravad asu api hare stokta asit. And earlier Krishna also considered himself as their child. But at that time it was 
more in a secondary sense, not real child, because he is not born from them. So therefore he says, now it is maya vina. Now it is without that feeling, now it is real, son. That is the meaning of this slogan. It's a little complicated. Does it mean that their bhava intensified now? That That's what we are saying. Okay. Is that because Krishna is prakat? But he was also prakat before. When he was prakat, then he was not their son. They still loved him. But now, what he is comparing is their love for their children. Now, their love for Krishna, although he has become their child, is more than their love for their child. So is there a meaning or a lesson, as in that you have to be born or associated directly with Krishna? or? No, 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 you are not understanding the point. The love for Krishna is always more. Whether Krishna is manifest as Krishna or manifest as their son. But now this comparison is being made that their love now is more in their own sons who is Krishna than in their own sons. Okay. Any other question? We'll read the commentary tomorrow. It's a long commentary. Okay, there's a question. Yes. Sometimes I hear that all the inhabitants of Raj rather than human beings beasts like cows, they have mutual love to Krishna. But is it correct to say that according to this Nila, some Rajabhasas like cows also experience Vansalya, Bhagavata, Krishna? You are talking about now Rajabhasas or then Rajabhasas? Well, no, no, during this Nila, this particular Nila, and also in Goloka. So what is the question here? I, I do not get. Actually, the question is, to be most straightforward, what is the rasa of cows towards Krishna? No, he's, he's already saying matrita. Go gopina matrita asminasi. That's written right here. Look at self is saying. Any other question? What is the meaning of Asu here? Puravat Asu Api. I mean, it's a verb in the sense. Asi. Thoda dear, tum yad kiya karo. Abhi to Krishna naam prakran pura ho gaya. Supratya kahan lagta hai? कहाँ लगता है सुप सब तीन में वो हो चुका है ठीक है तो लक्ष्मी लिंग तो शब्द क्या मूल शब्द क्या मूल एम एम आदस मूल मूल इज एक्चुअली आदा आदस Right, mool word in the list is others. Asya maniyo asu. Sattvami bhavaj. Okay.